Hi, I'm Mayor David Black, and this is City Happenings. Sump Library continues being proactive with its community involvement, especially with young children. You'll hear a literacy coach's thoughts. And a local artist recently featured in the City Hall Art Gallery talks about the gallery and her work. A multi-purpose medical facility opens on Pinnacle Drive. We'll take you to the ribbon cutting. All of these stories are next in City Happenings for the week of June 25th. Thanks, Mayor Black. Sump Library offers a children's author event where youngsters get up-close experience with the writers. A local school's literacy coach also takes part. I work with both students and teachers to um, improve uh, reading and writing instruction and um, to find ways to better meet kids' needs so that they can be successful. Even with current technology, Gretchen says books and print are not going anywhere. That's the way most kids, even though, even older kids that have phones and have tablets, they still want to pick up a book. There's something about having a book that they like. Technology does make the reading world much smaller than before. It can connect you with authors and it can connect you with um, people that can help you be better readers and help you be better writers. And so really technology can be a tool to help you improve. Gretchen points out that current technology offers a lot for younger children. There's a lot of really good sites that will read stories to them and have the words on there and go through and it'll highlight the words as they're reading it, which I think is a great thing for kids because sometimes parents are busy and they don't have time to read to kids. So those things, I think, are really good. The technology also has classroom application. We use those sometimes in the classroom as well as a listening station, and I know kids really like that. But, I, but as far as the print ever going away, I don't think print will ever go away. We'll hear more from Gretchen in a future City Happenings. A local artist is grateful for the city's support of the arts. I think it's wonderful that they have the gallery and then do the video and show it uh, on the channel and then also have it in the paper. It's very good exposure. I'm very appreciative. Finding out about the City Hall Art Gallery is a pleasant surprise. I didn't know it was here, so I was very happy to find out that it was here. The entire process is great support and furtherance for the local art community. I think it's a good location if people go up the stairs <laughs> and know that it's here. It's very beneficial to the community and to the artists to have their work shown and to have the interview, the, um, the newspaper interview, and to let people know that there are local artists and to have their work displayed so that the, the public can see it. Personal preference drives what Donna paints. I can paint realism, but I find it a chore and I don't enjoy it. So I look for topics or designs, things that excite me that I just see in the community or in other people's art, and I just paint whatever pleases me and what excites me. This is what grabs her interest. Patterns and abstract designs, uh, dark colors with a lot of bright colors, a lot of contrast. Uh, a lot of lined, flowing lines. Um, I've done a little bit of everything, just trying to find out what I like, mm -hmm. and I found that that's what I enjoy, is when I can have a little creativity in the process and not just painting what I see. Donna's reason for painting is simple and personal. There's no deep meaning or trying to make a statement. I really just paint to please myself and to make myself feel good. It's something that um, gives me a lot of energy. A new medical office opens on Pinnacle Drive. Yeah, on behalf of the mayor and the city council, we just want to congratulate you guys on your new location here. Got a great, uh, great area here on uh, 72nd and Cornhusker. A lot of great, uh, you know, great family area. So I think, uh, I think you guys will be, uh, be busy with all the all the you know, growth that we've got out here. So we're excited to have you. I just want to thank all of you for being here today. Um, this office really represents a lot of hard work, a lot of um, just, this has been a dream of ours for a long time. And you know, when we started our office over 10 years ago, we had no idea that we'd be standing here today. Um, you know, one of our main focuses was to serve the people when they came through the door. And 
that has really helped us to flourish and serve the people and and we've really been blessed because of it so um, you know the Lord has just blessed us and we we just want to thank you all for being a part of this day and um, I just can't thank you all enough this has been such an exciting time for us and uh, we're excited to share it with you so thank you thank you three two one We want to remind you of the weekly Farmer's Market held in City Park every Wednesday from 5 to 8 p.m. Farmer's Market runs through September 5th. Please note that there will be no Farmer's Market on July 4th. There are lots of ways to stay up to date with what's happening in Papillion. You can find us on Facebook, follow the City of Papillion on Twitter, or even watch our YouTube channel. Information about all of our departments and programs is available on our website. For more about Papillion, go to www.papillion.org. We just call the mayor's hotline at 402-827-1111. Thanks for watching.